Hi, welcome to my channel. This video is regarding AngularJS. AngularJS is a JavaScript framework developed by Google used for writing front-end web apps. It is inspired by the model view controller pattern, but still it uses MVVM, that is model view, view model way. So mainly it's used for creating large and single page applications. So due to its reusable HTML components, we can write a single page application where everything can be loaded into a single page in the forms of different components. How AngularJS actually works with HTML is, it extends the HTML pages with ng directives. There is ng app which defines that it's an Angular application. There's ng model which binds the value of HTML controls. So whatever we put in an input select or text area, it binds that value to the application data. Then we have ng bind which binds the application data to the HTML view. So let us understand the ng directives through code. So for this example, we have included the angular min.js. So here you can see I'm using ng app, which defines that it is an angular application. In the input type text, I'm providing ng model as name. Whatever we will type in the text box will be binded to the application data using ng model. Then we are using ng bind to print the value. So the output will look something like this. If you type a name in the text box, you can see that name is being printed. So ng model is binding that value and ng bind is putting it back to the HTML view. Now let us look how to set up an Angular application in your local system. So first of all, to create the Angular application, you'll require node.js in your local you can check if your local already contains node.js by running the command ng version. So you can see it's installed in my system. If it is not installed, it will throw an error that command not found. If node.js is not installed in your system, you can download it from node.js.org website. So you can download the LTS version for your windows. Next, you'll require an IDE tool to develop your Angular application. I personally prefer Visual Studio Code. So just download the Visual Studio Code from the Visual Studio website. So you can confirm if node.js has been installed by using ng version again. Use the command npm install minus g that is global at the rate angular slash cli. So this will install Angular client in your local. So once the Angular client is installed, you can create your first project. To create a project, the command is ng new and the project name. So I'm creating a new project, my app. I'm going to add Angular routing. Now it is asking me to select what type of style sheet I want. I'm going to go with SCSS. So it's installing the packages. See, the my app project has been created in my CVMira path. So open the Visual Studio app which you have installed and open the folder where you have created the new app. So you can see this is the structure of an Angular application. For any web application, index.html is the first page which is loaded. So here you can see the default index.html has a component app root. This app root is defined in the app component.ts which defines the template URL which has to be loaded for app root is app component.html and the style to be used is app component.scss. So this is the HTML file which is loaded as the first page. And this is the SCSS file. I have a app.module.ts which defines the different modules to be imported and the declarations. We also have app routing module.ts where the routing for different paths and the corresponding components are defined. We'll be adding routes as we build on our project. Open a terminal inside our Visual Studio using control tilt sign. To run this Angular application, the command is ng-serve hyphen hyphen open. Hyphen hyphen open will open the application in the default browser. So you can see the compilation is successful. So the application would have started in your default browser like this. It starts on 4200 port. Now you can edit the default component.html file and enter your own code. So for example, I'm just editing the app component.html.
and now I'll run ng sub hyphen hyphen open again. So you can see my edited page is now the default page for my Angular application. This is just a basic introduction of Angular application of how to set up your application. In my next videos, I'll be covering adding components, routing, and how to call services using Angular application. Thank you for watching my video.